Hey everybody, welcome back. Todd here. I'm up at the Northland again and we're working on the staircase today on the railing system. Beautiful autumn day up here, September. Uh, we just had the second frost of the year. I got down to about 26 degrees last night. So uh, autumn is definitely in the air. We're two weeks out from the opener for archery season. So we're going to want to get this thing built sooner than later. So we only have a couple more weekends before hunting season starts. So we're going to try to get this, at least the staircase railing wrapped up today. And I'll bring you along and show you what I'm up to. One of the first things I want to do is get that uh, rim board covered. You know, it's right underneath that threshold. So it's going to get water on there. It's going to drip around. You can see the OSB, the edge of the OSB is exposed. So I definitely want to get, uh, get something on there. So... I mean, you've got the OSB up above and then the OSB down below. And I'll show you that in just a second because that's where we left off last time. But I cut a piece of scrap. You know, we've got some, probably like everybody's camp, you, you keep some old materials around. You never know when you're going to need it to scab it onto a deer blind or something. So I cut a piece off of a, a, an old door that was on a, metal shed that collapsed years ago so i cut a, a piece off of there and i'm going to go ahead and measure it out and get get it stuck in there before i go too much further on the staircase build but what i'm thinking here on the build is i cut some spacers already because i knew that that was not gonna if you look at where it meets the building that's less than ideal so uh, I put at least one spacer in there. You can see where that has the two by rail coming up along the brick mold. I think that's going to be fine. What I'm thinking is I'm going to put the railing on the outside and then cap it on the top with the two by four on the flat. I've got plenty of uh, treated material on, on hand here, so I think I can get that done. The other thing is I've measured it out is... I don't think we really need that handrail to come all the way to the very bottom. That's overkill. You might want to be able to kind of cut the corner and pick that handrail up maybe about the second rung, the second step tread. So I'm still playing around with spacing, and I'll get back with you on that. But uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'll show you where we left off last time was getting this OSB on underneath. So we've got the uh, OSB on. Obviously you got the insulation up underneath there. We had to cut a couple of pretty good sized holes here that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cover those up with some boards today. And then Mike can spray foam it next time he's up. So underneath is, is all buttoned up. You know, top side, we're looking good. Beautiful day. One thing I can tell you is the deer have been in here just hammering his brassicas, and they mowed all of that clover down, too. It literally looks like somebody came in with a weed whacker and just darn near scalped the place. I just pulled the card off the camera, so I'm anxious to see if there was a herd of buffalo in here or just what. But... Okay, so that's where we're at, and I'll catch up with you a little bit later. If you're new to the channel, this is a hunting blind that we've been working on up here on our property in northern Michigan. Um, this is, I think, day seven of the build, and it's a uh, an 8 by 12 footprint, 7.5 foot to the platform. It's a multiple person hunting blind. It's going to give us a great opportunity to bring the kids out and introduce them to hunting. So I'll put a link in the description. If you've missed the first two videos in this, seria, in this series, you can swing back and check them out. So, you know, thanks for tagging along and I uh, hope you enjoy. Quick update. So I've got the stairs all figured out. I'm going to go ahead and put three posts in. I'm digging them in, so I just started to dig post number one. And I'll dig each of those in. So that way it'll go down. I've cut the blocking. Kind of spacers. 
So I've got the three spacers cut. So now I'm going to go ahead and sink the posts, uh, two by fours, treated two by fours. That'll keep it. It'll, it'll give us some stability for sure. Um, I went ahead and I cut that piece of metal, uh, to get in there. Pretty good, pretty good fit. I'm happy with it. We can caulk around the edges and be done with it. I still have to attach it, but uh, I'll do that after lunch. I've got to get the screw gun from the cab and I forgot to bring it out. Uh, so right now I think that what I'm going to do is get these posts, get the holes dug, get the posts set and clamped. Then uh, I'll break for lunch, bring the screw gun back and get those screwed in cut off and get the rail on it so that's where it stands right now okay time for another progress report so i've got as i left off before we got all the holes dug i've got the posts set although i'm not backfilling it until the very end we've got our spacers in and i've got the posts attached I ran it all the way up to the top with the angle, killed it into the brick mold, come around this side, as good as I got. Then I ran it down, marked the angles and cut them off. So what I'm going to do, I think the best way to approach it is to run my handrail on the outside, so it'll be on the left. Then I'm gonna run a top rail on the flat coming straight down. I did decide to terminate the handrail right there. I mean, you're really only two steps up, then you grab it. I mean, you can grab it right there and step on the onto the second step. Just makes it a little easier. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my handrail and attach it, and I'll be back. And here's another update. We're pretty much done with the handrail. Let's uh, go take a look at it. As you can see, all the posts are backfilled. Just like I said, we've got it running on the outside. I filled in the bottom here, just over top of the skirt board. That way nobody can step a foot off there on the bottom with it being kicked out just a little bit. That's just a little added measure of security. I don't feel like it needs a center rail. Uh, we went with a top rail on the flat. And you got the one cut on the side underneath it. So essentially a strong back underneath it. You know, with it being backfilled and several attachment points, it's really, really solid. I think it was a good move to cut it back because you could kind of spin around that corner and just step up on uh, tread number two and keep moving. Take you upstairs, show what it looks like from the top down. And here we are at the top, looking down. So, it's pretty steep to walk it down like you would on a staircase. But with the rail, it's actually pretty doable. I like to walk it like a ladder and just go backwards, but... So there you have it, handrail complete. Treated lumber is what it is. I'd love to tell you it's completely plum and everything else, but the lumber is a little kitty wampus. But for the most part, it's as plum and level as you can get anything to be. And I'm confident that uh, a staircase will be there for a long, long time, as will the handrail. Okay, now, next order of business on the day, of course, the wind is picking up, you could probably hear that, 
is since most of our construction's done, everything that left, uh, we got to get the windows put in. I'll be ripping some boards on my table saw to make the window frames, and I'll do that at home in my shop. So now I'm going to get the tractor with the forks. We got a lot of debris laying around here. And we can go ahead and get the whole bottom of that thing brushed in. So that's my next order of business for the day. Okay, I'm out here getting ready to put the tractor to use and begin brushing this blind in. Take a before picture or video. The idea here is to take what we already have going with this brush pile and all that brush all that deadfall came out of making this food plot. So we don't want to walk up this trail and get busted by deer in the food plot. So we've got a side trail that I dozed with a tractor, goes back that way. So we want to pretty much take that brush pile like that and add to it and brush this all in so that when Mike walks in from behind, if there are deer out in the food plot, they're not going to catch his motion. Almost more importantly, at night, if he's got a couple of does feeding out there or whatever, he needs to be able to get out of this thing and get out of there without those deer catching on that he's coming out of there. So anything we can do to brush that in is, uh, is a good thing from a hunting point of view. So I'm going to get after it here. My setup is I've got my Massey Ferguson GC1705 subcompact tractor. I've got clamp on pallet forks. And uh, of course, I got my chainsaw. I'm going to go cut those things in half so I can pick them up with the forks and move them. And I've got my box blade on for ballast. That way, I've got weight in the back. I do have weighted tires. But when you start lifting stuff that's pretty heavy and big, better to have more weight on the back. So that's the game plan is to put this tractor to use and get some brush up in here.
So I'm standing on this back trail that we created. I'm going to spin around here. I dropped the bucket and just pushed kind of a, a walking trail. You can see the path or our main drive trails out there. So, you know, it parallels it, but that way Mike doesn't have to walk on that trail walking right into his food plot. Then I went ahead and brought a bunch of brush in here. I have a main brush pile that I try to take a lot of deadfall to and what have you. So it was just down the way. So I went over and grabbed a number of uh, loads of brush. And of course we had a brush pile in the front from all the stuff that we cleared off of uh, out of the woods where the food plot once was. So this is behind the scenes. This is behind the brush that we brought in to brush the blind in with. So hopefully he won't get busted coming in and out of here. So, okay, I'll take you out to the food plot. We'll look back. So I'm out here in the food plot, straight north of the blind. You can see we're brushed in there. That's where the main trail dumps into the food plot. So I brought some brush in, catch the corner. He should be able to walk behind that screen, take that back trail in, climb into his stand without being busted. Brought it quite a ways down there, so he should be good to go. Then here's the food plot. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Do me a favor and hit that like button and uh, hit the subscribe. Uh, follow along with some of my other projects and just things that I'm up to.